everyone. Um, I am doing this video as a uh, to fulfill a request. I've had a lot of people asking me about hard candy cosmetics and how I feel about hard, co hard candy cosmetics. What do I own? What do I think? Blah, blah, blah. So just to clear up some misconceptions about hard candy, I have searched all over the internet and I cannot find anything that shows that hard candy is or ever was owned by Urban Decay. They started as their own company, I think in 1995. They were carried in Nordstrom and a few other department stores, so you are not hallucinating if you think that you saw them way back when in the, in the higher end department stores. They used to be a department store brand. Then they were bought by the company that owns Louis Vuitton, LVMH. It also owns Champagne and some other stuff. Then they sold that in 1999 to um, some other holding company. Um, so I am not sure. And then recently, of course, they went into partnership with Walmart and are now carried exclusively at Walmart, as far as I can tell. Well, that's not true. I also went on the Sephora website and, um, they do carry some very select, completely random hard candy products there. So the most, the vast majority of their, of the stuff that you see talked about on YouTube is available at Walmart, walmart.com, and is of course subject to availability. Um, I personally find that at my Walmart, the stocking isn't so good. They don't really keep up with the demand. And I did speak at length to a manager about that and their answer was that unfortunately, a lot of this stuff gets stolen and because the computer, everything's done by computer, the inventory isn't kept up to date because in the computer, they might have six packages of the Glamouflage Concealer and Fair, but in reality, someone's nicked four of them. So. Um, that's why they aren't restocked. That's one of the reasons why they're not restocked as often as they should be. Okay, so as to what I have, I don't have a ton, but I would like to share what I do have, and I'll probably find something else after I finish filming this video. Um, let's start with what I don't like. <laughs> um, I've heard a lot of people talk about the Thousand Lashes. It is a... I'm sorry, there's something going on behind me. Um, there is, uh, this is the Thousand Lashes Fiberized Lash Weave Mascara. And mine, is, it comes in colors. It took me forever to pick this up. Mine's in Midnight Black. And it took me forever because, of course, this was the one that was always sold out. Okay, what I don't like about it. There's some serious fiberizing going on here. See if this comes up. Um, camera. I don't know if you can see all the little, they look like little fuzzies, especially, I noticed when I was playing with it, even at the mouth, see, I doubt that's going to come up, but even at the top of the tube, um, tons of fiber, and the problem is, I'm going to put a little on, I mean, it works just fine, obviously, but the problem is I wear contacts, and if one of these little fiber buddies gets in my contacts, it's not going to be a good day for me. Um, I did find there was some transfer as well. So, still has not replaced my beloved CoverGirl Lash Blast. The packaging is kind of cool. It looks like it's a squeezy tube. It's not. You know, if you like the fiberized thing, go for it. It just, to me, wasn't all that. Okay. Then their nail polishes. That was, originally, the company started by making nail polishes. In fact, their first nail polish is called Sky, and the owner the co-founder and owner of, of the original hard candy company is um, ma she created the color to match a pair of her shoes. At least that's what it says on Wikipedia and of course we all know Wikipedia is it's like the source of information. It's just like Star Magazine is absolutely the source for celebrity gossip. Anyway, um, so there was a lot of hype over this color, Beetle, and um, it took me six months to get my hands on this. And um, it is a very funky duochrome. It has purple, micro glitter, green. It looks like the shell of a beetle, of a black beetle, hence the name. I love the color. It doesn't hold up very well. I may try this with my new sticky coat, base coat, and see how it works, but if you're looking for longevity, at least in this particular color, you're not gonna get it. Okay, on to what I do like. Um, I was trying to recreate some makeup look. I can't remember what it was, and I needed a gold eyeliner. Did not have one. 
and they have these cool ones they're metallic eyeliners this one is called take me out liner molten metal eyeliner pencil and this particular color is in 24k 24 karat this is very dull but it looks like I'm just gonna draw a big old swatch for you it looks like that and that's pretty true to color is how it's coming on camera it's a nice warm gold shade very creamy you could easily smudge that in. I'm playing with it now. It's great. And on the website, it says these also double as hair sticks if you want to put your hair up and stick them in. I don't know. I don't know why you would. But anyway, these do come in a variety of colors, and I was pleased with that. And I don't remember how much any of this is. I'm sorry. It's all cheap. It's Walmart. I mean, how bad can it be? Then I have two lipsticks, and I think I even did a video about this one. My first lipstick I picked up was called Fire Alarm. They have these cute packaging. It has little... I mean, I can see why people would think it's owned by Urban Decay. It's very graphic, and it has this cute little ribbon, and you pull it out. And um, this is Fire Alarm, and it's I have it on now. It's a, it's a great nude. It is a really... It's very creamy. Um, it reminds me a lot, actually, the formulation of my P2 lipsticks. You get a nice sheen. Um, beautiful. Obviously, the, the color range isn't the same as P2, but very similar in, in pigment and the way it feels on my lips. So that, I think, is a great, great nude color. And it looks even better if you put a slightly darker lip liner on first and then put that on over it. And then I also got Perfect 10, which is a little darker, more of a mauve or mauve tone. And we're going to ignore Bosley. He's banging on the door. And that's this one here. There you go. So those are the only two I've personally tried. I like them. I think they last as long or longer than most lipsticks, and I've been really happy with them. And then we have, I don't know where this falls in, and it's dirty. This is Eye Candy Cream Eyeshadow. Comes in this cute little, looks like a little pill box, and it's pixie. I got this to do a Valentine's look that I saw by make, from Makeup by Tiffany D, and I didn't have pink glitter, um eyeshadow because how could I how could I have not had pink glitter eyeshadow I don't know but I didn't and this is a cream base because she put it on in some look she put it on and then she packed on the eyeshadow over that and it has a cute little mirror on the back and I haven't used this in so long oh it's very creamy very pigmented and there it is um, I had no problem this is kind of fun I forgot how cool this is might have to go play with it some more. That is it on my finger. That's, I just very lightly. So, um, yeah, great, fun, fun. They have a lot of fun stuff that maybe you wouldn't use for every day, but considering the price, it's not bad to have for some fun looks. Then onto my favorite, 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 favorite things about hard candy. Okay, this is the hard candy so big bronzer. This is actually a bronzer in Tiki, number 129. And I've really made quite a dent in it. It looks like this. I cannot imagine using this as a bronzer unless you... No, like never. I don't care how... If, even if you're the whitest, if you have zero color in your skin at all, this would still not be... This couldn't possibly be a bronzer. I use this every single day as a highlight on my cheekbones. Every day. Even though I have other highlighters, this is still my favorite. And I just use a flat top brush and just... Done. Sometimes a little bit on my Cupid's bow. And I'm trying to find a clean hand. It's very shimmery. Okay, that's it packed on very solidly, just so you get an idea. What are you doing back there, buddy? Can you see him? Say hi, Buzz. So, that's it. And then on the skin, I'm trying to find a clean part of my body to rub this on. It's kind of... Well, it's on my cheeks right now. So there you go. I love it. I put it on all the time. You could probably put this all over your face. It's very subtle. And I think I got this idea actually from Bentley Blonde. I think I saw her talking about it. Just as a side note, it really irks me when people on YouTube talk about a product like they're the only ones that have ever seen it and they, they're the first ones to have seen it when you know they saw it on someone else's video. And we should support each other. If you see someone with a great idea, the highest form of flattery is to copy them, but be sure that you give credit where credit is due. So I'm pretty sure 
I saw this on, on Bentley Blonde first. It was like one of her favorites. And she's right. It's awesome. Okay. Then the other, um, now I have two blushes and then we're done with this story. Um, I have, they're both called Blush Crush Baked Blush. Blush Crush Baked Blush. And I have two that I love. Um, Pin Up and Honeymoon. And Pin Up, actually I saw um, Gina Bina Wiena 99 did a top 10 blushes and this was one of them. And I thought, well, she's pretty white. If it looks good on her, it'd probably look good on me. It is a pretty blush. I think it's more of a highlighter, really. I don't know if you can see that. It's just, there's not enough of a color payoff for me to be just a blush. I, I need a little more, even for me. I have heard you can also use these wet. Aha, it says so. Apply dry for a soft and delicate look. Use wet for intense dramatic color. So I bet if I put this on wet, I would get the color payoff I'm looking for. And then, I've talked about this for at length. It has its own video. This is the Hard Candy Blush in Honeymoon. I was looking for a cool tone peach, which I know is technically an oxymoron, but it has veins of cooler tone shades running through it. And when you put your hand through it, it absolutely turns into a shimmery, cool toned color. And I love it. And all of these blushes are great for layering if you want a multi-dimensional look on your cheekbones. One last side note about hard candy. Um, mothers of young children that are in cheerleading or some other dance competition and they need body glitter um, or if you're a stripper so those are your two categories prepubescent children or strippers looking for body glitter not only does hard candy carry it for eyes but they have all kinds of spray on dusting glitter for your body in a variety of colors so um, I was helping a friend whose daughter is performing at a Spurs game that's basketball um, for her little dance class and, and she needed body glitter and um, I ran into her at Ulta and uh, we went over to Walmart instead and surprisingly Hard Candy had everything you needed right there to, to just shine you up like a disco ball. So strippers and young girls who dance or cheer, Hard Candy's got you covered. So anyway, that's all I have. I would love to own the Glamouflage um, in Fair, the concealer. I've heard a lot of people love it. I would know. It is always sold out at my Walmart. Um, I even went online to try to order it. It's sold out online. So that is definitely on my list. Um, as soon as I can get my little greedy hands on it, I will be purchasing that. Um, and they're always coming out with interesting new products. So I am looking forward to trying a few of their other things. So if you have any questions about the products I've mentioned, of course, put it down in the comments. And also, if you have a hard candy product that you use that I haven't mentioned and you think I would love, or that I would hate and you want me to stay away from it, please let me know. Um, I love hearing from you. And um, as always, I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.